The 17 News at Noon podcast is brought to you by Clinica Sierra Vista. Welcome back to 17 News at Noon podcast, where we share your news on your schedule. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for 17 News at Noon. I'm Nicole Gitsky. We begin with an excessive heat warning for parts of Kern County starting today, including the desert communities. You're urged to limit your time outdoors and limit strenuous activities. You're also urged to drink lots of fluids, stay out of the sun, and never under any circumstances leave a child, elderly person, or pet unattended in a vehicle. Now, 17's Kevin Charette is live outside our studios at Compassion Corner for the annual KGT fan drive. And this fan drive couldn't come at a better time. We are getting ready for that triple digit heat. And for some people in our community, they don't have air conditioning. So, Kevin, tell us how people can get involved in this fan drive. Well, Nicole, let me just say we aren't even in the peak of this heat wave and I'm already hot out here. We've got a little bit of cloud cover, so humidity values up a little bit as well. And this is just an indication of how warm it is going to get here the next few days. And that's why it's important that you come on out and support our Keep Kern County Cool Fan Drive. And I just want to thank everybody that came by and said, hey, I'm donating this in honor of Kevin's birthday today. I put that out there earlier this morning. Hey, it's working. People are dropping by cash donations. They're dropping by fans. But really, the key here is helping out the community and that's what this is all about here at Compassion Corner helping out the community in a time of need. Not everybody has that AC unit. Not everybody has that uh, swamp cooler and all they get is a fan and some folks can't even afford one. So all the fans we collect today will be handed out on June 18th and the only way you can get one is by uh, filling out an application. So we encourage you to come down and fill out an application or if you can drop off a new or gently used fan. It's going to be very important in the coming days. Let's Let's talk about that heat as well because we're only going to go up from today and that's why we've got the heat warnings in place and we are talking about the extreme heat 108 for tomorrow friday 110 along with saturday all right thanks so much for that kevin well in your 17 crime watch on april 28th accused child killers david palms and tyrone johnson escaped from the lairdo jail Holmes was caught and arrested within hours, but today, 50 days later, the search continues for Tyrone Johnson. Johnson and Palms escaped while awaiting trial for the murder of three-year-old Major Sutton. In 2017, the pair allegedly kicked down the door to Sutton's apartment on Pershing Street and opened fire inside, killing the boy and wounding his pregnant mother and brother. Allegedly, Sutton's mother lived with a member of a rival gang who wasn't home at the time of the attack. Court documents say the two inmates created dummies to make it look like they were sleeping in their bunks and cut a hole in the roof to escape the maximum security wing of the jail. Once on the roof, the pair slid down a nearby flagpole to reach the ground. Palms and Johnson were being held together even after the two tried to escape from a different facility before April 28th. If you see Johnson, do not approach him, but call 911. If you have any information that could lead to an arrest, you can stay anonymous and call the secret witness hotline at 322-4040 or the U.S. Marshals at 529-1068. Well, police are investigating an early morning crash that left a motorcyclist dead. According to California Highway Patrol, it happened just before 5 a.m. on Edison Highway east of Sterling Road. Officers say the motorcyclist was heading eastbound on Edison Highway when a Ford SUV came out of a driveway directly in the path of the motorcycle. CHP says when they arrived, they found a 38-year-old man with major injuries. He was taken to the hospital where he died. CHP has not said if drugs or alcohol were factors in this crash. This is the 10th motorcycle fatality this year. The Bakersfield Police Department will conduct a DUI and driver's license checkpoint tonight. The department said the checkpoint will be set up between 6 p.m. through 1 a.m. tomorrow morning. Officers will check for signs of alcohol or drug impairment and proper licensing. Penalties stemming from drunk driving arrests can include jail time, fines, court fees, and DUI classes that could cost more than $10,000. And police need your help in finding a missing man who's been missing for nearly two weeks now. The Kern County Sheriff's Office says Brian Red for Aaron was last seen in the Lancaster area off of Highway 138 and 300th Street. He was last seen driving a white 2017 Chevy pickup truck. He lives in Bakersfield, but he does work in the Lancaster area. If you know anything about his whereabouts, call the Frazier Park substation at 245-3440 or KCSO at 861 3110. All right, taking a look around town now, Golden Empire Gleaners is hosting a food drive this week and they were asking for your support. The annual Oil Can Do It food drive is back. This is video from a previous food drive in 2019. 
They are asking the community to bring non perishable food items and monetary donations to help replenish the shelves at the food bank, which helps feed those in need in Kern County. The food drive is happening tomorrow from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the Era Energy parking lot on Ming Avenue. Time now, 12.06 in an education news. Bakersfield College is helping to enroll new and returning students. It's happening right now until 5 p.m. BC counselors and staff are available to help students apply for financial aid, design an education plan, and register for classes. Now, if you missed today's event, don't worry. BC is offering multiple enrollment events this summer. To sign up for a session, we have the link on our website, kget.com. Clinica Sierra Vista is now offering rapid COVID-19 testing and COVID-19 vaccinations. Call 833-278-4584 to make your appointment. But don't delay. Clinica Sierra Vista, putting patients first. Welcome back. Well, if you never made your way out to the Lavender Garden, it is a must. It's a beautiful, quaint spot. And besides it just being beautiful, did you know that lavender has many health benefits? Well, joining us once again is Jessica Myers, a health and herbal expert. Jessica, good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi, Nicole. I saw your visit to the lavender garden and not only is that lavender so beautiful, but it smells amazing. And yes, it has some pretty powerful health benefits. In fact, I would not be surprised if you found yourself feeling just extra relaxed and calm just from your visit walking through those fields. Oh, you are 100% right. I left and it was like, I just, I felt good. Everything smelled good. And I mean, just besides it's smelling good. There's actually a lot of benefits with lavender. Could you maybe explain a little more? Absolutely. So that calm feeling, it's not just a placebo. It's not just from being out in nature and beautiful flowers. So a large scale double blind study, that's the gold standard in clinical studies. It found that ingesting a particular lavender oil capsule is comparable to a prescription anti-anxiety medication called lorazepam but it does not come with the dramatic sedation that we see with the prescription medication. And in addition, lavender has been found to have beneficial effects on sleep quality. It can aid digestion and soothe insect bites by decreasing inflammation in the skin, as well as having both antibacterial and antiviral properties. So then Jessica, what would be a best way that we can use lavender for those benefits to help us? So lavender can be used as a tea. It can be made into food products like my favorite lavender lemonade, and it can be used for aromatherapy or consumed as a supplement. The most important thing you want to consider is only using the highest quality lavender products as there have been some cases of hormonal disruption when synthetic lavender fragrance is added to enhance the aroma of lavender products. So um, whether you're using a tea or aromatherapy, if you're thinking about using lavender, quality is so important. And if you are gonna be using a lavender supplement, definitely discuss it with your care team before starting. I think we all could use maybe a little more lavender in our life. Now, just once again, mm -hmm. Jessica, you're a registered herbalist and a physician's assistant, and you offer consulting services, and you can find those at www.jessicamyers.com. Thank you, Jessica, so much for joining us. You know, you always provide us with such valuable insight. Thank you, Nicole. We'll see you next time. The 17 News at Noon podcast is a production of KGET and Nextar Media Group. For more on all of the headlines in today's show, head to KGET.com.